Hi there. Welcome to this presentation on uh, concurrent task actions in uh, Informatica Data Director in the Informatica Master Data Management product. As part of this presentation, we'll go over what tasks are in the Informatica Data Director application. Then we'll go over what do we mean by concurrent task actions in IDD. I'll walk you through what concurrent task actions are currently in IDD. Then I'll walk you through uh, a workaround for concurrent task actions. As part of this, I'll walk you through a custom user exit code on how to handle this. And then we'll wrap it up with uh, where do you go in case you need more information. So what is not covered as part of this presentation? So we are not covering task configurations in IDD in detail here. We are not talking about uh, how to create a user exit project for IDD. We are not talking about how to uh, bundle your jar files for IDD. So we are not doing any of this. We are just talking about a specific use case and we assume you know all these already. In case uh, you do not, there are other uh, documentation which would walk you through this. So let's get started. What are tasks in IDD? So uh, Informatica Data Director is a data steward application. So uh, it's, it's used by data stewards to manage data. And as part of managing data, they do edit the data and sometimes this edit has to be associated with a task and this task would go through a workflow process where it could be assigned to a user, it could be reassigned to a different user, it might need approval, it might be approved, it might be rejected, it might be cancelled and a whole lot of things. So this workflow process has a task as the integral part of it. So a task is a step within a workflow process and you can perform different actions on a task. And a task and the actions that you can perform on the task are configured as part of your IDD application. So what does task concurrency mean? So task concurrency in the context of this presentation means two things. Two users working on the same task at the same time or it could mean where a user is working on a task when in fact behind the scenes that task has been assigned to a different user. So in, in this case we should not allow the user who has stale data to continue working on the task and perform actions on the task. So this is in fact a bug in the product and it is being tracked as HORA49513. So let me walk you through the task concurrency issue that we have. So I have an IDD application here where I have a very simple um, subject area for household and I have uh, tasks associated with it. Right. So let me open one of these tasks. So I have this data associated. I'm logged in as admin user. So I'm going to assign this to test user. So now I'm simulating concurrency here so I cannot use the same browser So simulate concurrency I'm going to use two different browsers here. So from a different browser here I'm logging in as test user. So test user is now the owner of this task. So he opens the task, he or she opens this task and he wants to act upon it. So meanwhile, behind the scenes, the task gets reassigned to a different user. So at this point of time, the task which is open here has stale data. It no longer belongs to this user. So we should not be allowing any actions in this task. So this user, test user now, doesn't know that the data has changed, he goes in and performs some action. In this case, I'm just trying to reassign it to a different user. 
So it succeeds. So it does not give any error message. It succeeds. So this this is a bug in the product. And how do we fix this? So the workaround that we have is to implement a custom user exit for task actions. So uh, to implement custom user exit for task actions, so what you would do is, so in your BDD config, so uh, you would go in and manually edit the BDD config. So for each subject area for which you have task actions defined, you would go in and add user exits and the class name of the user exit code which would be invoked whenever a task action is performed. So you would uh, include this in your uh, IDD config file and then uh, the next step would be uh, to uh, code uh, the Java class which would uh, handle the user exit and then uh, if your user exit is throwing any error message you would uh, have to include those. In my case I have error message which I'm throwing which has uh, this error ID so I'm, I'm throwing the message the task data associated with the task has changed please refresh the task so uh, so I've, I've included that in the error code bundle file right so then I, I'm, I need to import the user exit the IDD configuration XML and the error code bundle into the IDD application that I have. So I'm not going to go over how to do any of these. So next I'm going to walk you through the code that we have and then I'm going to walk you through how how this code would work. Right. So this is just a sample code. You can write any code you want. Right. So basically your task action handler or the user exit which um, would be invoked for task action needs to extend from the I task action uh, I task operation plugin the most important thing here is to remember that the get operation type method needs to return a task action operation if if it does not return this type it would not be invoked for every task action that you have right and then in my case I've implemented the before everything method so the before everything method would be invoked before performing or before continuing with any of your actions on the task. So what I'm doing basically here is uh, I'm using a SIF get task request SIF call to find out if I mean get the task from the database and check whether the user ID is the same as the user ID I have here. If it is I'll continue. If it is not I throw an error that the task is stale and it needs to be refreshed. Right? So I get the task ID and uh, the task owner ID from uh, the context. So uh, whenever we uh, invoke a user exit, the user exit, um, the IDD application will create a context and it will have the task ID and the task owner UID. Right. So I, I get those two from the context and then I, I generate the get task request right so uh, I, I generate so the get task request basically needs uh, the task metadata list which is uh, the list of task uh, IDs that needs to be retrieved so I set that in the task metadata list and uh, I'm saying I, I need to know the total number of rows which are returned and then I, I execute the request so then if I get a risk response back I iterate through the response and see if the owner ID of the task which is retrieved from the database is the same as the owner ID I have right so if it is not then I throw an error so this is the same error which I uh, showed you some time back so and uh, I'm, I'm passing the task ID here, right so I, I throw an error saying uh, an error as uh, like uh, you need to refresh the task if if the owners are the same I just continue right so again uh, I'm, I'm not walking you through on how to write the user exit or how to compile the user exit I'm I'm not even walking you through a complete get task request if call because it's it's already documented in many places right 
in in many knowledge base articles so this is just a sample code i just want you to see how it functions now you could write any of your custom message based on your requirement that you have on how you determine what is your concurrency right and so i have a different uh, application where i've already implemented this it's it's the same one as before except for the user exit so in this case again i'm logging in as admin here i go check uh, task admin so i have three tasks let me open the first one and i'm going to assign it to test user and from the other browser here let me log out from the older application log in as test user to the application i have a task waiting for me here so you open the task meanwhile the admin user goes ahead and reassigns this task to test user 2 this test user now so now the information here is stale so test user is no longer the owner and i'm logged in as test user i'm trying to perform some action and in this case i'm going to reassign it and i get an error so this is the same error which i generated there's a task data associated with this task has changed so you can give any error message you want right and you can do any test you want to determine the concurrency of the task so this is a work around till we have the actual fix in place so in case you need more information on uh, what tasks are or how to configure tasks or how to configure user exits so you could go to the informatica data director implementation guide so and in case you have uh, any feedback on either this video or any other information on any of the informatica product do get back to us